Are you a procrastinator like I am? Always scrambling at the last minute for gifts? Well, I have the solution. Just make a cocktail. But these aren't for drinking, they're for giving. Really? Yep. Just mix up a batch of classic cocktails and bottle them as ready to drink cocktails that make the perfect gift for holidays or just everydays. Ready to drink cocktails and cocktail kits are the ideal present for the cocktail lovers in your life. And mix up a few extra and keep them in the fridge for those last minute gifts and also to reward yourself for no longer procrastinating. So now it is time to shake things up. Hey everybody, it's Mark Addison. Thanks so much for joining me on another Shaking Things Up. We post a new video every week with recipes, tips, and tricks on how to bartend at home like a pro. So subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button because you'll be notified every time we post a new video. And give us a like and let us know you like what we're doing. Or leave us a comment and a question below. So today's video is all about the procrastinator's guide to gift giving. And ready to drink cocktails and cocktail gifts make great last minute presents and you can use things you already have at home or just take one trip to the liquor store, which is usually open late and on holidays. First, I'm gonna show you how to make ready to drink cocktails. Now bartenders have been batching cocktails forever just to make service quicker. But this pro technique has inspired a ready to drink cocktail craze. I suggest you choose a classic cocktail that doesn't include perishable ingredients that require refrigeration. And if you wanna learn about more classic cocktails, you can click on this card right here and watch my classic cocktail video. And as always, we'll have the links of the recipes down below with the description, as well as all the products and supplies used. For this project, we'll need some bottles to put our ready to drink cocktails in, tags or labels to identify the drinks, We'll need something to mix them in, and we're gonna be using our cocktail chameleon mixing glass and a bar spoon. You'll need a selection of funnels, and of course, a jigger, because you can't wing a good cocktail. You'll need cocktail garnishes, and of course, your base spirits. So first ready to drink cocktail we're gonna make is the classic martini. And I'm gonna be using a small hot sauce style bottle. It holds about five to six ounces, which is perfect for a classic martini for two. And in a classic martini, I mean a gin martini. If you make it with vodka, that's okay too, but you have to call it a vodka martini. Then a classic gin martini, it's five parts gin to one part white or dry vermouth. And we're gonna be making our cocktail in a mixing glass and then we'll funnel it into the bottle. I'm gonna be using a measuring glass because I'm using a larger quantity and it just gets a little repetitive using a one to two ounce jigger. So in my measuring glass, I'm gonna fill up five ounces of gin. So that's my five parts of gin. And then I'm gonna add one ounce of an extra dry vermouth. We're gonna give that a good stir just to combine the ingredients. And then we need to funnel it into our bottle. So I'm gonna be using a mini funnel. Make sure you have the funnel that fits the neck of the bottle. That's the key. Then I'm gonna slowly pour the ingredients into the bottle. Just about to the top. That's perfect. And of course, a gin martini wouldn't be a martini without an olive. So I have a selection of small olives here that I've halved so they get into the bottle a little bit better. So I have two halves for one martini and another two halves for the second martini. So we just screw the lid on nice and tight. And here we have the gin martini for two. The next cocktail we're gonna make is a Negroni. And we're also making this for two, and I'm gonna be bottling it in a small mason jar. And this is a jam size jar. And I've used a mason label, which is great because they are biodegradable and they just simply wash off after you're done using it. So in our jar, we're going to build our Negroni. So for the Negroni, we're gonna need a London style gin, which I'm gonna be using silo gin today. And then we'll also need a red Amaro, and I'm gonna be using select aperitivo. You can also use Campari or Aperol. 
And then we also need a red or a sweet vermouth. And the classic ratio of a Negroni is one to one to one. And since we're making this for two, we're gonna be adding two ounces of each of the base spirits. So in my mixing glass, I'm gonna add two ounces of our red or sweet vermouth. We'll add two ounces of a dry London style gin. And then we'll add two ounces of a red Amaro. We'll screw the lid on nice and tight and just give it a little shake to combine the ingredients. A classic Negroni is garnished with an orange peel, a fresh orange peel. But I don't wanna put a fresh orange peel in here because I don't know exactly when this cocktail is gonna be enjoyed. So instead, we're gonna be using dried orange slices. And these are dehydrated in the oven. They're very simple to do. And tune into our next Bar Basics series when we talk about drying garnishes. So I'm not gonna put them inside the drink because I want them to stay nice and crisp. So I'm gonna put my orange slices in a small mesh bag here if you don't have a mesh bag, you can use a small Ziploc uh, snack size bag like I have here, uh, which will work just as well. But I like the little decorative mesh bag. And to adhere the bag to my jar, I'm gonna simply use a rubber band. So I have my little baggie here and I'm going to just lean it against the jar, wrap my rubber band around twice. And here we have the lovely garnished Negroni for two with a little dried orange garnish on the side. Our third classic cocktail is the classic Manhattan. And I'm gonna be bottling the Manhattan in a small little flask style bottle. This is a 100 milliliter bottle and I have my little tag which is the Manhattan for you. So it's gonna be a single serving ready to drink cocktail. So we're gonna build our cocktail in a mixing glass. And the classic proportions of a Manhattan are one parts sweet or red vermouth to two parts American whiskey. And I like to use a rye whiskey. You can use bourbon or a blended whiskey if you like. So in my mixing glass, I'm gonna pour out one ounce of my red vermouth and two ounces of my rye whiskey. We can't forget a couple of dashes of bitters, which is classic. We're gonna give that a good stir just to combine the ingredients and then we'll funnel it into our bottle. A classic Manhattan isn't complete without a classic cherry garnish. We're gonna be using some small little maraschino cherries with their stems and I'm gonna just pop it into my bottle and we only have one cherry because it's only being served for one. And I'm going to put the cap on nice and tight. And there we have the Manhattan for you. So my second tip in my procrastinator's gift giving guide is creating cocktail kits. These are great last minute gifts for the home bartending enthusiasts, which you can also include a wider range of recipes that include some fresh ingredients, but don't overcomplicate. Keep the recipes simple to execute and make sure you include a recipe card. So we'll have a link to all the recipes and all the tools and supplies that we've used in this project in the description box below. The first kit we're gonna make is the classic margarita. It's such an easy recipe and it makes the perfect cocktail kit. So we're gonna be using a Chinese style takeout container in a very festive green color. And the classic margarita recipe starts with tequila. And I like to use a reposado tequila in my margaritas. And then we'll put the tequila just simply in the bottom of the container that I've chosen that's lined with a little um, tissue paper just to keep everything nice and snug inside. The next ingredient is a orange liqueur and I'm gonna use a Grand Marnier. You can use Cointreau or you can use any other orange flavored uh, liqueurs that you'd like. That'll go right into my container. And of course, we'll need a little sweetener. So this is agave. And instead of giving it a large bottle of agave, what I've done is I've just put a small amount that's needed for the recipe in a small little canning jar like this. And I made sure that I labeled what it is so that they know when they open the box, what the ingredients are. 
And of course, we'll need a fresh lime. Now the lime is not only for juicing, but also for the garnish and to moisten the rim for the optional salt rim. You've got to include salt in a margarita recipe. So again, not including a large container of salt. We just need a few ounces. So I have a small little uh, resealable bag and I'm gonna simply just pour in about two tablespoons of a nice flaky salt into my bag and just close it up. And again, I've labeled it salt so you don't get any confusion as to what the ingredients are. Who knows, it could be sugar. We'll put, pop that into our container. You can't forget the recipe card, otherwise they won't know how to make the drinks. So pop the recipe card in our box, seal it up. It's a little full. And here we have the classic margarita cocktail kit. This cocktail kit we're gonna make is a recipe that's near and dear to my heart. It was a recipe I wrote for Cocktail Chameleon and it's the Green Mountain Mule. And it is inspired by ingredients from Vermont. We're gonna build the Green Mountain Mule in a decorative gift box that I've lined with a little tissue paper and some white crinkle paper just to keep all of the ingredients nice and snug. So the Green Mountain Mule is based off of the Moscow Mule and Moscow Mule is made with vodka. And I'm using a Vermont distilled vodka from Silo Distillery and a small little 100 milliliter flask style bottle, which I'll put nestled into my box. And then we're gonna use a ginger beer, not a ginger ale, make sure it's ginger beer because ginger beer is a classic mixer for the Moscow Mule and the Green Mountain Mule and it has a much more pungent gingery flavor. So that's gonna go into our box. And to sweeten it and also give another Vermont flavoring to it, we're gonna be using a 100% pure natural Vermont maple syrup that's made here on our farm in Vermont. So we'll pop in this little decorative leaf bottle in there. And the last ingredient is lime juice and a wedge of lime. So I'm gonna include a whole lime that the recipient can juice part of and also give a nice a lime wedge as a garnish. I'll put all the ingredients into the box and I also put a little surprise bow on the inside. This box has a decorative ribbon closure. So I just have to, oops, don't forget. I almost did. You need to include your recipe card. It's very important so that the recipient can actually make the cocktail. So now we're gonna close the box with the decorative ribbon. Just tie it off with a cute little bow. And here we have the Green Mountain Mule gift box. It's ready to give and ready to make. Here we have my Procrastinator's Gift Giving Guide tips ready to drink cocktails and cocktail kits. They're perfect for the cocktail lovers and the home bartending enthusiasts in your life. Surprise and delight with these clever and really easy to make gifts that are easy to give and easy to drink. Speaking of drinking, how do you serve a ready-made cocktail? You simply get a glass, fill it with ice, and I'm using my favorite new glass that I received as a gift, the Baccarat Manhattan style tumbler. And you simply pour the Manhattan in the Manhattan style tumbler. And don't forget your garnish. And just give it a little stir just to chill. And here we have the Manhattan for you or for me. How easy is that? Mmm, it tastes so easy too. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you picked up a few tips today. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Here's what's next.